A coma is a deep state of prolonged unconsciousness. Comas can be derived by natural causes or can be medically induced. The word coma comes from Greek meaning deep sleep. Coma patients exhibit a complete absence of wakefulness and are unable to consciously feel, speak or move. General symptoms of a person in a comatose state are inability to voluntarily open the eyes, a non-existent sleep-wake cycle, lack of response to physical or verbal stimuli, depressed brainstem reflexes such as pupils not responding to light, and irregular breathing. Diagnosis of coma is simple, but investigating the underlying cause of onset can be more difficult. 40% of comatose states are the result of drug poisoning. The second most common cause of coma is lack of oxygen, generally resulting from cardiac arrest. Around 20% of comatose states result from the side effects of a stroke. The remaining 15% of comatose cases result from trauma, excessive blood loss, malnutrition, hypothermia, hyperthermia, abnormal glucose levels, and many other biological disorders. Treatment for people in a coma will depend on the severity and cause of the comatose state. Upon admittance to an emergency department, coma patients will usually be placed in an intensive care unit, where maintenance of the patient's respiration and circulation become a first priority. Once the patient is stable and no longer in immediate danger, there may be a shift of priority from stabilizing the patient to maintaining the state of their physical well-being. Moving patients every two to three hours by turning them side to side is crucial to avoiding bed sores. And other types of physical therapy also help prevent orthopedic deformities, which may interfere with their recovery. Coma patients may also deal with restlessness or seizures. For this, soft cloth restraints may be used to prevent them from pulling on tubes or dressings, and side rails on the bed should be kept up to prevent patients from falling. People may emerge from a coma with a combination of physical, intellectual, and psychological difficulties that need special attention. It is common for patients to awaken in a state of confusion with an inability to articulate their speech. In the first few days, patients may only awaken for a few minutes, with an increased duration of wakefulness as their recovery progresses. Some patients, however, may never progress beyond very basic responses. There are reports of people coming out of coma after long periods of time. After 19 years in a minimally conscious state, Terry Wallace spontaneously began speaking and regained awareness of his surroundings. In another case, a brain-damaged man trapped in a coma-like state for six years was brought back to consciousness in 2003 by doctors who planted electrodes deep in his brain. The method, called deep brain stimulation, successfully roused communication, complex movement, and eating ability in the 38-year-old American man who suffered a traumatic brain injury.